Do you know what I might do? I might or I could go left. Takes it down to the east side. Go that way. I'll be lost. Go there. That's that's the way it came in anyway. I'll be I'll be alright mate. No problem. See, see you after. So, first ride on a motorbike in 15 years. Cheers, buddy. Triumph Chester is my local Triumph dealership and this is where I've ordered my brand new Triumph Tiger 900 Rally Pro from. This isn't my bike, I've not yet picked it up, but this is my first ride, as I've just said, in about 15 years. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty nervous, but I'd like to say a big thanks to Mark Davies who trusted me with his demonstrator. And no, I didn't stall, we're going to be saving that for a little later on in the video. There's no audio from me whilst I'm riding, I thought I'd better concentrate on what I was doing first time round. And as you'll see as I attempt this first right turn out of the dealership, I'm a little wooden. But I thought it was a good idea to get a little bit of slow speed control back under my belt before I attempt it out on the roads. I eventually pluck up the courage to choose a gap and emerge. Still very wooden. But don't forget, you should be doing this on any vehicle you haven't ridden or driven for a while. Get used to it first. Just checking I've set my mirrors correctly, which I did, and now on with the fun. Some normal gear changes first before I get used to the quick shifter. This was the first time I'd ever ridden a bike with a quick shifter. And now on to my first roundabout. Again, slow down early, give myself some time, but I still have to come to a little stop. I could see where the van driver was looking and probably going to go, even without their signal, but I was still getting used to the bike. That turn was a little less wooden, but have little look at the indicator going on my display. Finally I got to it. Oops. Now on to some bigger stuff. The confidence quickly started coming back. As you can see, the 900cc triple has got plenty of grunt. However, I always ride like I drive within the limits and within my capabilities. I've never taken any advanced motorcycle training and this is something definitely for the future, but with what I do, I can keep myself safe. My ability to read the traffic lights and when they're gonna change makes this an easy job for me. So, as you do with a car, into neutral and relax. Now, Let's have a little look at this bike's acceleration. Without even trying, I'm easily up to that 50 miles an hour limit. I've never ridden in that way to try and get to my destination as fast as I possibly can. And that's never gonna change. Safety has always got to be a number one priority. I'm even remembering to take my signals off now. But I have to show you my stall. I must admit, that was a pretty sketchy place to do it. But try not to get flustered, get it started again and get underway. That was caused quite simply by a lack of power. Give it a few more revs, Ash. I wasn't going to make the same mistake the next time. Now 
Now, I want to turn right a little bit further up. What should I do? I had plenty of acceleration, but I choose to let the BMW driver go past first. The next car behind was brilliant. They held back and let me complete. I couldn't use this bike for nearly an hour and not stick any fuel in it. And then it was time to be heading back. I was actually a little bit lost at this point. I didn't have my phone connected to the bike or mounted, so it was back to being Tom Tom myself. I was also getting a lot more comfortable with the slow stuff, which for me has always been the tricky part. A lot less wooden and more comfortable, but that's the first thing I'm going to try and improve. On my way back though, I came up to this scenario, where all the traffic was starting to get into lane 2 and queuing because of some roadworks up ahead. Time to test out one of the main benefits of motorcycling in my opinion. Let me know how I did. It looked as though the driver of the blue car had stalled, so I took care, but I used that chance to get round fully to the front. Many of you don't know, I've held a motorcycle licence for 24 years, and I did used to ride a fair bit. But don't forget, I haven't ridden a bike in 15 years. All in all, I was quite happy with how I did, but there's definitely room for improvement but I'm definitely going to document my motorcycling journey from now on, good or bad. Most of the things that I try and instill in drivers and other road users on a daily basis apply to motorcycling. For example here, there was no way in the world I was going to be next to this red lorry as we were going round this roundabout. I held back, make sure I was seen and I kept in a staggered formation until the lorry driver had gone off to the right hand side. This for me is very basic stuff that I don't have to think about. But I also understand that there are many motorcyclists out there that that wouldn't have crossed their mind. Now, going forward, I'd like your opinion. Should the motorcycling content be saved for its own channel, just like I do for the cycling, and keep the main channel as it is? Please let me know in the comments. But anyway, after an enjoyable ride it was time to hand this demonstrator back. And as you can see, my slow speed skills have got a little bit better. Please keep tuned in for collection and delivery day, which shouldn't be too long. And please let me know in the comments what you would like to see me do on a motorcycle. Anyone notice the indicator still on? Keep safe everyone, I'll see you soon.